What's going on guys, John the Video Guy here. In this short After Effects tutorial, can't get it right today guys. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to export with the alpha channel inside After Effects. So I'm inside After Effects today. I have a composition and it has an alpha channel. So as we can see with the transparency grid, if we turn it on and off, we can see there's stuff behind it. Now, sometimes you wanna export this out of After Effects to retain it, that way you can use it over other video clips and other projects. So to export this with an alpha channel, you'll have to make some changes to the way you export it. So for example here, to export this with the alpha channel, I'm gonna to go to composition, add to render queue. Then under best settings, you'll just want to change the quality to best, make sure that's there, resolution's full. Also make sure proxies are off, no proxies are being utilized. The proxies might not have an alpha channel with them, so you just wanna make sure there's no proxies on. And then next to output module, click on lossless. And the format that you'll wanna choose is QuickTime. And if you don't have QuickTime, I have a link down below. Feel free to go grab it if you're on a PC or a computer that doesn't have QuickTime. Then the key here is under channels, change it from RGB to RGB plus alpha. And this will give it to transparency. Now under format options, I recommend changing the video codec from animation to Apple ProRes, and specifically Apple ProRes 4444. They'll give you a really nice quality output. If you don't have that as well, there's other links down in the video description. Then click OK, and then click OK on this box. Then choose where you want to save it. In this case, I'm just saving it to my downloads folder. Click save and then click render. Now, if you use this often, you might want to create a render preset. That way you have a preset made that automatically you can click on it and it'll export it with an alpha. If you want to learn how to make render presets, I did make a video going over that. I'll link that video right up there. Feel free to go watch it. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.